ビデオトーク。Hello and welcome to another video talk. My name is Willy and I'm here to talk to you about Dolomite. Dolomite, motherfucker. Now, this is a good time to talk about this film since Netflix released Eddie Murphy's new picture called Dolomite is My Name, which is a biography book of Rudy Ray Moore's life and especially the making of this great black exploitation classic. Yeah, well, Dolomite is a character of Rudy Ray Moore's, and you might ask, who the hell is Rudy Ray Moore? He was a, a black exploitation slash hip hop legend.、Uh, he was a guy who invented this kind of rhyming stage act. <laughs> But the monkey got wise and started using his wit. Start saying, I'm gonna put a stop to this old ass chicken shit. So he ran up on the lion the very next day. He said, "Oh, Mr. Lion, there's a big bad motherfucker coming your way." Sort of like stand up, but only only a bit more rougher. He's a pimp and he's a tough son of a gun, like the title of song of this movie says. A tough son of a gun, yo. The man's name is Dolomite. So the movie opens and Dolomite is in jail, and the guard comes to the cell and says, "Hey, Dolomite, the warder wants to see you." And Dolomite replies to him, "Oh shit! What the hell does that rat soup eating motherfucker want with me?" Well, that rat soup eating honky motherfucker wants Dolomite to get out of jail on a secret mission. What am I supposed to do, boy? All right, I understand. You know some of the people we suspect. And we feel there are policemen mixed up in it. Now I told you the job was dangerous, and you could lose your life. But you're tough. You know how to roll with the punches. The name of the game is stay alive. It appears that Dolomite's friend Queen Bee has talked over the warden to let Dolomite go, and also governor of the state has some kind of secret mission to go undercover. And uh, to uh, expose this criminal league or something like that. The plot of this movie really doesn't make any kind of sense since this、uh, secret mission plot point is forgotten immediately when Dolomite gets out of jail. You go. I want you to take these cheap motherfuckers and wipe your ass with them. Oh no, Dolomite. We'll keep them here. You'll be back. A bunch of white dudes try to kill him immediately, and he just massacres them. Well, where is he? Breathing down your neck. He likes to kill. Now this guy is exactly the right kind of dude you want to set out of a secret covered mission. Come on, girls, let's make it. Help me! Wait a minute, Dolomite. I'll help him. <laughs> <laughs> Dolomite is not at all concerned about this secret mission given by the governor. He's more concerned about his club that he used to own, and his rival Willie Green, who apparently set him up, has taken over the club. And now Dolomite has a score to settle with Willie Green. You take care of business, I take care of heat. It's nice to have seen you people, but fuck you, man. Give me the gun. Here's the gun. I'm gonna kill Dolomite. I don't want no sweat. Let's turn the place out. <laughs> Dolomite is a bad son of a gun. He makes love to women, and also he has a black belt in karate. And for some reason, when Dolomite、uh, has sex with all these women, he seems pretty bored. Shit, he ain't saying it. 
You know, you're the only man that really blows my mind. Did you bail me out of jail just to tell me this? I guess he's waiting just to get out and kick some ass because that's where Dolomite is pretty good at. That shit ain't mine. I don't know how it got there. You're under arrest. You're gonna have to take me! And of course Dolomite has his army of karate chicks like the back cover of this UK video cassette says. Meanwhile Queen Bee Lady Reed has converted Dolomite's beautiful street girls into all girl army of kung fu killers. So you can imagine that there's plenty of bad karate in this film. Now you just might not think that Dolomite is the best black exploitation film around. Certainly there's plenty of more better made films such as Shaft or Fred Williamson films and stuff like that. But what makes, in my opinion, Dolomite so great is Rudy Ray Moore. Clearly this man is very enthusiastic while making his first picture and half of the fun of this film comes from Rudy Ray Moore's hilarious one-liners such as I got your boy hanging. You no business bond insecure junkyard motherfucker! Or, man, move over and let me pass. Oh, they have to be pulling these hush puppies out your motherfucking ass. And I also remember the scene when this one bad guy asks girl, hey, what are you waiting for? I'm waiting for Dolomite. For who? Dolomite motherfucker, you heard her. And the other half of the fun in this movie comes from the high incompetence of the film crew. Uh, it seems that every scene in this film has something wrong in them. Is it the direction or the acting or Ruri Ray Moore's incredible kung fu scenes or the boom mic hanging uh, nearly every other scene? By the way, this boom mic mistake is not because of the filmmakers but because of the full screen transfer of the film. And tell him I want him out of here in 24 hours. And 23 of them are already gone. You understand? I'll just want me to get him, boss? I'll get the jive ass, nigga. I don't know how many times I've seen Dolomite. The first time I saw it, it was from this videotape which I'm holding in my hand right now. Before that I have seen plenty of black exploitation film and you could have called me a black exploitation fan. But Dolomite was so funny and I fell in love with it for the first time I saw it. has kind of a homemade flavor to it, which is very charming, at least for me, since I'm an independent filmmaker myself. It was a vanity project for Rudy Ray Moore. He got the money to make this picture by himself, so it was very important for him to make this picture. And I don't think this is a conscious decision by the film Vegas, but this almost feels like a parody of the entire black exploitation genre because it takes this stereotypical black exploitation hero and kind of makes a mockery out of it. But I don't think that Rudy Ray Moore and the rest of the crew has been conscious about it. Now, I know you think you're smart, see, because you got all them flashy clothes, you got that big car there, you got all them black bitches working for you. You forgot about the white ones. So I got here Dolomite VHS from UK, certified 18 years old and it, it's got a movie in it. No extras of course because it's a VHS. But here I also have Dolomite on Blu-ray, this beautiful presentation of the film by Vinegar Syndrome. This release has also DVD in it and also this kind of reversible sleeve which is also a very nice bonus feature. As you can see I have selected on my, for my cover this Dolomite original poster but if you like this new style of cover made by Vinegar Syndrome you can go ahead with that too. Yes, this Blu-ray has a beautiful presentation of the film in uh, 185 aspect ratio widescreen and also the dreaded boom mic edition. It's like watching it from badly cropped VHS. 
And also there's a bunch of good extras, including idolemite making of documentary. But if you want to see it, make sure you get the other Rudy Ray Moore uh, releases from Vinegar Syndrome, because this documentary continues from disc to disc, which is, a, in my opinion, a pretty clever way to sell your discs. But I don't mind, because these are very, very good, very good releases, all of them. <laughs> I am the king. Now I always have thought this UK tape was a cut piece of shit because two scenes clearly have been cut here. And the other one when Dolomite, it's a spoiler. So after all these years, I thought I was a victim of BBFC cuts, uh, the British Board of Film Censors. But to my amazement, when I received this Blu-ray from Vinegar Syndrome, the same fucking scenes are similarly cut. So that got me thinking, what the hell was going on? So when they distribute film in theaters in the United States, the film had to be R-rated. So Rudy Ray Moore had to present to MPAA his film and they demanded two cuts in the film. So that version that we see here is the MPAA cut version. All these years I was blaming for the wrong people. And no, there is no uncut version. If you saw it in the 70s in cinemas presented by Rudy Ray Moore himself, that was the uncut version. But to my knowledge, no uncut release has been released to date. I'm gonna let them know that Dolomite is my name and fucking up motherfuckers is my game. And sometimes, y'all, you love him and I love him. Put your hands together. Dolomite is my name. So what about My Name is Dolomite, the Eddie Murphy film? I watched it in the Netflix the other night and it was, in my opinion, so entertaining that I immediately had to watch Dolomite afterwards. Eddie Murphy plays Rudy Ray Moore in that film and the film is set in the time when Rudy Ray Moore and his friends were shooting Dolomite. And that's a good idea because that is very interesting time in the career of Rudy Ray Moore. Now I don't know what kind of person Rudy Ray Moore was when he was still alive. Unfortunately he passed away in 2008. But uh, this picture... Eddie Murphy portrays him as a kind of a likable guy. Uh, I never imagined Rudy Ray Moore to be this kind of a feeling good kind of guy helping out others. But um, well, I don't mind it because it, that, that kind of character served the film well. The film itself is not terribly original by itself. I was When I was watching it, I was thinking to myself that, my god, this is very boringly shot. You know, like, it's over the shoulder here, over the shoulder there. And the editing too, it's, it's like watching like a TV series or something like that. Also, they seem to mix things. Uh, they are taking parts of Human Tornado and integrate them into Dolomite film. Like, I don't know why they did it, but who knows. Overall, My Name is Dolomite is a good Netflix film, especially if you like Ruby Ray Moore and black exploitation films then it's definitely for you. I give it four stars. And for Dolemite, I give five motherfuckers, but because this film is fucking awesome. And also, Rudy Ray Moore appeared in P.T. Wheatstraw, The Devil's Son-in-Law, and also in Disco Godfather, and in The Human Tornado, which is a sequel to Dolemite. Maybe I talk about these films later, but right now, let me leave you with this clip. You know business born in 70s.
sick, you Jojo motherfucker! You dirty black bitch, I'm gonna kill you! If you like this video, please consider supporting the channel by subscribing and hitting that bell button to get notified when there's a new video. If you have any requests about the films you want me to do, please tell me about it in the comment section. For more info, visit videospace.fi, a community for video collectors and movie enthusiasts. Thank you for watching. I got you boy hanging, you no-business-born, insecure, choked motherfucker!